Let me reframe the way you think about citations. They're not just about avoiding plagiarism. They're about joining the conversation. Hi, my name is Shane, and today we're breaking down why proper citations can literally transform your paper from meh to wow. I'll also show you the exact impact they have on your grades and reputation. Citations do four things that most students miss. First, they make you a part of the academic conversation. Every citation says, I've done my homework and I'm building on serious research. Second, they turn your opinions into evidence-backed arguments. Social media is bad versus, according to Smith's 2023 study, excessive social media use is correlated with decreased attention spans in 73% of participants. Third, they give readers a roadmap to explore further. You're not just writing a paper, you're becoming a research guide. And fourth, they show respect for intellectual property. It's kind of like saying thank you to the scholars that came before you. Here's what teachers actually think when they see proper citations. Wow, this student can find credible sources. They may also think, wow, the student can synthesize complex information. They understand how knowledge builds on knowledge. On the flip side, bad citations or missing citations kind of scream, I left this to the last minute, or I don't know how research works. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, plagiarism. Even accidental plagiarism can wreck your academic career. But here's the thing, proper citations aren't just about avoiding punishment. They're about showing academic integrity. Every citation says, I can be trusted with information. Now the consequences of getting this wrong are real. Failed assignments, academic probation, damaged reputation. But getting it right? That builds trust with professors and sets you up for more research opportunities. You should think long term. Professors notice which students can cite properly. These are the students they recommend for research positions, graduate school, and professional opportunities. Good citation habits also prepare you for the real world. Whether you're writing reports, proposals, or articles, knowing how to properly acknowledge sources makes you more trustworthy and credible. So you should start building that reputation now. Your future self will thank you. <laughs> now here are three quick tips to level up your citations. One. Use recent sources when possible. This shows that you're currently up to date with the research. Of course, this doesn't apply when you have to refer to more original and older references. Two, mix primary and secondary sources. Primary sources are gold for credibility. Three, don't just cite, integrate. Explain why each source matters to your argument. Your citations should feel like natural parts to your argument, not just random add-ons. Citations aren't about just jumping through hoops. They're about becoming a better writer and researcher. Start treating them as tools for building stronger arguments and watch your academic work transform. What's your biggest citation challenge? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi, Shane from Jenny here. Thank you for watching the video. Jenny is an all-in-one writing workspace that's designed specifically for students, researchers, and academics. Jenny helps you write with smart suggestions that include citations, manage all of your sources in one place, paraphrase your writing into any tone, and it also offers a smart Jenny chat, which is basically ChatGPT but tailored specifically for academics. You can try it out for free today. Link is in the description box. See you in the next video.